Hey, what's good, everybody? This is Pat here again. I'm sorry about the noise. There's someone working on my bathroom right now. Uh, so this is the second part of the Anleon S2. Yeah, S2 in-ear monitor, monitor system. I, I have been testing them out for about a month, maybe a little more. Uh, so I didn't want to make an, a, you know, a, a video uh, without having, you know, used them for a for a while and having test them, and and you know some different configurations uh, and some different features that that it, that they have, or that the system has, uh, so so you could get a, a really you know um, let's say conscious review of, of it. So here we are. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is um. Um, I will play guitar a little bit. I unfortunately I cannot. Well, I can, but I don't have the gear for that. Uh, like send the, the signal from the receiver to the computer, so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. I promise I will do that soon. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you what I'm doing uh, with it. Uh, I don't have a big house, so I will walk just a few steps out of the room. And you will see that even there, you know, you will hear my comments about it. So what I have right now is, uh, let's begin by the guitar. You see there's a wireless guitar system there, which is a very old sure uh, system, which is really good. I just got that one from a good friend. Uh, then I have, uh, well, the cable. You see the red cable goes all the way to my interface, which is that Tascam US 1800 there. You can see it on this side too. Uh, and then that one has the monitor output, which goes to these guys right here. So if I play guitar, you can hear that. That's my guitar it, that has the wireless unit there. So I will wear it on and walk away a little bit, okay? So, bear with me. So, this is my custom guitar also, my Ruby, it's called. So here's my wireless body pack, my pick. All right, so let's get out of here. So, I want you to have like a little idea of these sounds through the monitors, I mean the big one, the speakers. a clean sound. That's a crunch sound. And that's a high gain high gain sound. Alright, so let's get out of here. So have to be careful with the cable. And then you see a few steps, another room. This is the living room, so I will step like in this corner. So there I am. <laughs> so uh, let me do something real quick here. All right, so I'm here in the living room, as I said, and okay, I left the <laughs> high gain open. So in this place which is, I don't know, like four meters, like away from my studio. Um, I can even go a little farther, by the way. So let me try pointing this to the kitchen, which I don't think it's super clean right now. But let me come here. All right, yeah. So I will just, I will just play a little bit. Okay, excellent. So what's happening here? Remember I have my KZ Z10, I believe. And remember I made a review on those ones right here. So I have these ones in right now, so I, I mostly don't hear anything from the outside. Uh, of course, it's not like a, like a custom shave thing, but still it's 
they are very, you know, very, you know, they block your ears very, ears very well. So I don't hear the monitors right there in my studio. I only hear everything playing through them right now. And uh, so when I, I go there, even if the, the unit is in the room, there's one, two, two walls, right, in this space, it sounds very clear. I mean, the quality of the audio of the guitar, it's perfect. The only thing is that it adds a little bit of like a grainy, um, like a grainy noise somehow. That, that is the only thing that I see happens when I use these guys, uh, especially when I'm this far, because when I'm right, right there, it doesn't sound that bad. And it's not, I mean, it's not bad, really. It's, it's just a little bit of noise, which is pretty normal, I guess. So my review for these guys is they are amazing for the price, especially because they are so cheap. Okay, so I would definitely recommend you guys get those like to you know to for beginners let's say because there are a ton of pro gear for that okay so let's switch to this camera uh, so I definitely love them I mean they are so clear and the range is more than enough for the size of venue that an artist like me plays on because you know I don't play in stadiums or or arenas or that crazy shit yet <laughs> I hope someday, but but anyway, they are amazing. I mean, they're really cool. Uh, on the first video that I shot, I had a lot of noise. Maybe this happens to you, especially if you have uh, if you have them connected to a straight output, like like a direct balance output, like I do. Um, and I find they are very noisy because the those direct outputs are really loud. Okay, so what I do. I will also show you that in a minute here. Let me switch camera again. So what I do here, it's actually, I will show you on my screen here. Um, what I do is I have multiple outputs in the main stage software, which is the one I use to, uh, let's say, to produce the sounds of my guitar, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I, I have this main stage software. You see all my guitar patches there, and I can actually change those patches with a MIDI controller. You see it there, it's made by Amai Electronics. So if I press one, this is my clean sound. You see, it's clean there. If I press two, that's the crunch. So it changed the crunch, I will see the screen anyway. I press three, that's the third one, and I will play a little bit here. So, I gain, crunch, and clean. All right? So, that's um, that's how I do it. And I want you to see here in, the, in this part, right here. You see main? Okay, main is which is going right now to my big monitors, to these guys. Okay? That's main, so that's decibel zero, meaning like, like the normal volume <coughs> reference. But you see these monitors here, it is minus 10 right now, okay? So minus 10 is what it's going to this guy right here, my alien unit, okay? So that one is receiving minus 10, and because of that, it, the noise decreases a lot. Now, as I said, those outputs in the back of my um interface they are very loud okay so minus 10 it's what i use and i don't even have to increase the volume here on my body pack at all i mean it, it, it's like you know it turns on and just like that i leave it because it has like a big weight all the way up but it's gonna be too loud for for me okay so what i can do for example is i can lower the volume even more so i guess that would that will give me more headroom so now through my in-ears i don't hear that much so now i can increase the volume yeah which is i mean even less than half the volume is loud enough for you to be a good st stage performance okay 
So this gal, these guys, this unit sound really good. Okay. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I, I really recommend again. Uh, you can get them from this link here straight in Amazon if you want to. You can buy additional receivers. You can buy anything you want. Uh, I will give you an affiliate link. So whenever you purchase something, you support me. And that way I can continue to review all the gear I've been purchasing and even purchase more gear for you to, you know, to be aware of and and to play a little bit with with all of that. Right now I am, um, you know, doing crazy stuff with uh, digital stuff and physical stuff, and I will combine those two worlds somehow. So I will. I will hopefully in a few months have very good material about how to combine that that with all of this and and you know it's gonna be amazing so thank you for watching I hope you like it and subscribe I will be posting about the gear and about my own music and covers and stuff like that all the time so I appreciate if you thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my channel take care bye bye <laughs>